Hey friends, I just wanted to make a short video here to discuss something with you. At the end of this video, I'm going to, well actually I'll include in the description underneath some links where you can get involved in this conversation and hopefully make a difference for good in the state of California. Um, this is going to be about SB 707. SB 707 will become law in January of next year unless you get involved in this process and either share this video or just you don't have to share the video to share this information with your family and your friends about how this will affect you and uh, possibly your children. SB 707 will, if it's not stopped, as of next year, make you a criminal if, in spite of the fact that you are a licensed, permitted CCW holder. In other words, you have gone through the fees and the classes required. You've had a life scan. You've um, been a, a sat down with your sheriff. And you have been approved to exercise your civil right. And you are now a permitted concealed carry uh, permitted to conceal carry your firearm here in the state of California. Um, as of January next year, if you are picking your child up or dropping your child off at their school and you are anywhere on the school grounds and you are with, you know, your permit, you've got your concealed carry firearm with you, even in spite of the fact that you've gone through all of that licensing and training and fees and the approval of your sheriff, you will now be a criminal if you have your concealed carry firearm on you anywhere on the school grounds. In fact, even if you were, let's say you were at the range the day before, or you were duck hunting and you have some ammunition in your vehicle, same thing, you are now a criminal if you are parked or drive onto uh, school grounds and you have ammunition or your firearm with you, in spite of the fact that you are legally licensed to do so. I, I want to just, without going into a legal reading of SB 707 or whatever, I just wanted to hit that concept with you. And I wanted to talk to you about something that happened in 2004 in a little town called Bezlan. Now, Bezlan is located in North Ossetia. This is a region of what is now a Russian Federation of the former Soviet Union. In 2004, in September, you may or may not remember that in the town of Bezlan, Islamic jihadists came and took over school number one for three days. There were well over a thousand hostages. Um, of those hostages, there were over 700 children among those hostages from the school. Um, after three days, I'm not going to go into everything that occurred over those three days, but the end of the three-day siege with the Islamic jihadists taking over a school, 385 of those hostages were dead, including 186 children. Now. I just have a few questions for you to consider here. Do you think that the school that your children attend or your grandchildren, do you think that they are in any ways prepared to handle something like what happened in Beslan in 2004? Yes or no? Do you think that there are Islamic jihadists right here on American soil. Next question. Do you think it is wise of California leadership to continue to strip away the rights, the civil rights of law-abiding Californians to be able to protect their lives and the lives of their children
There's a book that I read recently. I, I'm going to recommend it here, uh, and I get nothing for this other than uh, perhaps the joy of sharing um, something with you that, that may help make a difference for you in just the way perhaps that you're thinking about the safety and the security of the children of the state of California. This is a book called Day of Wrath. Uh, the author's name is William Fortune. I'm probably not pronouncing that last name correctly. Um, I picked it up. I've read another one of his works, and this is a sh very short novella. It is based on actual events that have taken place, not as of yet here in the United States, but they have taken place, namely uh, a coordinated school siege by Islamic jihadists, and what the fallout of that is. The fact is that every day, all over this country and all over the state of California, people pack up their most priceless treasures and they send them all to, um, to be together in a place where they can't leave and is perhaps one of the most poorly secured areas and that's our children and that's our school system. Um, if you're concerned about these ideas, if you're concerned about SB 707, and you're concerned about um, the further restriction of your civil rights as a law-abiding Californian, then let me urge you to get involved in this conversation, to contact Governor Brown's office, to contact your representatives, and put an end to the leadership of California binding our hands from being able to um, secure our own safety and the safety of our children. Thanks for watching. I hope something that was said here uh, resonated with you. You're welcome to comment below. Have a wonderful day.